to the public, Prime Minister. For days, Boris Johnson has been denying his staff flouted coronavirus rules last year. But this leaked video, showing his then press secretary laughing over how to describe the gathering, has sparked an angry backlash. This fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and it was not socially distanced. <laughs> the video triggered an apology. I was also furious to see that clip. And Mr Speaker, I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country, and I apologise for the impression that it gives. And soon after, a resignation. My remarks seemed to make light of the rules. Rules that people were doing everything to obey. That was never my intention. There are concerns that this episode could undermine Boris Johnson's ability to sell public health measures when it comes to COVID-19. And that's about to be tested, with a new announcement that more restrictions are coming in before Christmas to deal with the Omicron variant. They include a return to working from home, mask wearing indoors, and vaccine passes for large events. We can't yet assume that Omicron is less severe than previous variants. So while the picture may get better, and I sincerely hope that it will, we know that the remorseless logic of exponential growth could lead to a big rise in hospitalizations and therefore, sadly, in deaths. But it's doubling currently between two and three, every two and three days. That is an extraordinarily fast rate, and you therefore can get, with very small numbers, to very large numbers really quite quickly. The Prime Minister will be counting on the willingness of the public to do the right thing, even if those in charge are found to have broken the rules. Steve Kinane, ABC News, London.